Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video and another episode of GPW The Succession Game and this is our go home show for GPW King of Combat and we will find out our last, the eighth member of the King of Combat tournament. Oh, I'm excited, let's just get right into it. We have two pre-show matches to begin and in our first one is a 74B minus. Um, we have the most team machine guns defeating the global alliance. Blah blah blah. Let's let's keep let's keep going. And we have Adam Cole. No, Ricochet def defeating Adam Cole in 68C plus. I don't usually. I never pick the winners for the uh, dark show or pre-show matches because I just don't think that pre-show matches like affect anything. And yeah, just whoever the game thinks should win the pre-show match, I just go with. Yeah. I mean, if, if you guys do it differently, post in the comments, maybe maybe if you do, uh, I'll prefer that idea, or like you have a point why you should decide winners in pre-show matches, but let's get right into the proper show. We, I'm pretty sure we start off with a match. Yes, we do. In a 75 B minus, the buff had great wrestling and good heat. Frankie Kazarian defeated PJ Black in 622 by pinfall with a wave of the future. This match got the show off to the good start and got the crowd hotter. And we go on to a 94 A promo from Cody Rhodes. Oh my Jesus. Oh my god. About his coming upcoming match this Sunday against Magnus. Oh my god. 94. 94A. 94A promo. That's, that's decent, isn't it? <laughs> that just is decent. Let's go. He has a 58C minus match. It's a 236 basically squash match. Cody Rose defeats Antonio Mack in 236 by pinfall with a, a beautiful disaster. We see the 60 um, rating in ring performance difference between our world champion and the enhancement talent Antonio Mack, the 18 year old, I believe. He is talented. He does have good, some good in ring stats. He will grow up to be a good wrestler, I believe. But let's just go into the next segment where Taz announces the Ring of Honor representative in a 60C, who is Jay Lethal. Yes, Jay Lethal is coming to King of Combat tournament. And the strangest thing is, we are in an alliance with Ring of Honor, so we can loan the thing, uh, the superstars and superstar wrestlers. What is this WWE? We can. Um, loan the wrestlers and everything but like just last week they said they want to be hostile with us and we could only accept that offer so yeah that's a bit weird but let's go in a 75b minus this is our semi-main event in a superb match magnus defeated zack sabre jr in 935 by pinfall with a tormentum following interference from chris saban zack sabre jr not not having the best of build-ups to King of Combat, will he be able to retain his title against Chris Saban? We're, we will see. Um, next segment is a 61C. Zack Sabre, Zack Sabre is in the ring. And um, the Motor City Machine Guns run in and attack him, beating him down into the mat. The, the number advantage from the uh, Machine Guns here, definitely clear. And our main event gets an 82B, great match, the bout had super wrestling and great heat, Johnny Nitro defeated Drew Galloway, no, Johnny Nitro and Drew Galloway defeated Ethan Carter III and Aaron Stevens in 1744 when Johnny Nitro defeated Aaron Stevens with a moonlight drive, Ethan Carter III being the best performer there, weakest Drew Galloway, okay, and we end the show off with a 62C where Johnny Nitro and Drew Galloway celebrate the show overall gets an 81B. Good show, guys. Make sure to tune in for King of Combat. It will be a great show. We will find out who will be main eventing TakeOver. We will find out who will be our first ever King of Combat tournament winner. Anyway, for this video, please like, subscribe to everyone involved in with the series, and 